Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game. This was a video I was supposed to do a very long time ago, but I ended up buying this on Switch on a physical media, only to learn it would not come to me for many, many months. <laughs> so, I ended up buying it again on Ubisoft. Uh, mainly because I really do like Scott Pilgrim in general. Um, and this game is fantastic. Back in the Xbox 360 area, I think in terms of best arcade game that was on the Xbox Arcade, it would be between Scott Pilgrim and Bastion. I'd probably end up giving it to Bastion because Bastion's a real cool ass game. Um, so I did start story mode. I'm gonna go here with Blue Scott. That who that was my main. I did beat level one. Usually around this time, I would actually stick to level one and kind of farm out level one because that's actually how you get really good at this game. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go over and fight the sequel, the second evil X, and let's see how this goes. I believe its name is Lucas Scott? Chris Evans in the movie. Man, I should reread Scott Pilgrim at some point. I own all the Scott Pilgrim. It's currently on layaway somewhere. Did I just die? <laughs> I didn't even realize how low on health I was. See, this is why I mean I usually, as when I was a um, high schooler, would go back and... I don't know, I think I was in college at this time, actually. Damn, that was a long time ago. Um, why I would go back and constantly farm that one place, because it's super easy and you need all the cash and stuff. So we go here. Boom. Eat that shit. So in the beginning, you don't have a lot of your moves that you get later on. You do have this sick jump kick, which is basically all you need. Okay, let's go. Okay, so there's one thing I don't like about this specific version of the game. Listen to that. You can't hear Scott punch in the original mix of the game. And you can look this up, because I remembered. It was way louder. So let me put it here. No, you still can't hear him punch at all. I don't know. I don't, I don't agree with the mixing. I personally feel it's not a true beat-em-up unless you can hear every single punch on the screen. I don't know why they decided to do it this way, but whatever. Let's get back into it. It is the one thing that kind of annoys me about this version of the game. Alright, let's buy something. So, yes. Eating restores health, but also gives you some time EXP and other times, um... I forget what word I was about to say. But it's good to eat stuff. It's basically like River City um, Rampage, and eating stuff in River City Rampage was extremely beneficial. Because it increased your stats, that's what it was. So I would just farm out um, level one because the secret shop is in there and then just buy the good stuff in the secret shop until I was powerful enough to basically kill everything in one hit. And at, while I'm at this low level, I can't even do the cool stuff. Let me summon knives. See if she helps. She did not help, but that's fine. I need to take care of this one because they're long range. Jump kick. Jump kick. If all else fails, just jump kick. As you can see from me failing. Okay, you can hear a little bit of the punch, but not enough. It's never enough for me. I can actually hit those guys, I think. I think I have to actually hit these guys. They're down. Get some of that. Unfortunately, I, yeah, I can go back. So let me go back and completely reheal. <laughs> I'll get some poutine. That works. Thank you, sir. Let's get going. May as well heal up completely while I'm over there. I did miss out on all the good stuff, though, from my big bonus. Of course, it didn't do anything. We just quickly punch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. So, alright. Stupid paparazzi bastard. They always get me. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, wait. So yeah, later on you get moves that like let you pick dudes up and completely destroy everything. I completely destroyed that key, but it's fine because it respawns. 
gimme, gimme, gimme. Alright, let's move on. God, the music in this game is so good. So I'm glad that Scott Pilgrim came back. I actually wish they would do an animated series with Scott Pilgrim. Because I feel like the live action did perfectly fine, given that they did not know the ending. Apparently the original ending, which was him getting with knives, did not test well. Which is a shame, because I really li I think I actually prefer knives to Ramona. But also he should not have been with knives, because she was underaged. And that's the whole point of Scott Pilgrim, is that what he's doing is actually very bad. But that doesn't stop me from at the time when I was reading Scott Pilgrim to really like Knives. I think I was- yeah, Scott Pilgrim had to have been still in high school when I saw it, I think. No, it wasn't. It was in college. So I was around maybe 18, 19? That range? Either way, great. If you've never read the books of Scott Pilgrim and have only seen the movie, I would suggest tracking down those books. They read like manga. Brian Lee O'Malley is fantastic. Let's go here. So much so that even though I've already know basically everything, I'm not really spoiling much. Yeah, go knives. Go knives, go. Love. I really need to <laughs> get stronger. Alright, let me... Bam! Take that. I should also not use it because that stuff when I get KO'd will be turned into good stuff for me. Alright, let's go here. How are these guys able to breathe fire and also just be a dude in a suit? Ow. Fine. I won't question the logistics anymore. Oh, come on. Really? He's not down? Okay, he's down. Boom! Jump kick to death. Again, when all else fails, this works in any style of video game like this. Just do a jump kick. It works all the time. So that wall's clearly caving in on me. So let me just go here and quickly. I think I died. Yes, I did. It should be fine. I still got a life. There we go. Alright, I think I'm pretty pretty close to the boss fight, but I'm gonna have to be very smart from here on out. I wish you could hit this guy. He causes me so much trouble. <laughs> Those dudes also kinda look like um Quicksilver. <laughs> from the Quicksilver, yes. Quicksilver. Go look up a picture of Quicksilver. He kinda looks like that. Oh god. Go Knives! Even though I know for a fact you ain't gonna do anything. It does stop them from hitting me, which is nice. Go, go, go. No. There we go. Even though I've said countless times jump kicks always work. Sometimes they don't. Get out of my fucking face. Okay, thank god only the little bits of the fire actually got me. Go, hit him with the rock. Ow. There we go. There is also a block, but... <laughs> I don't use it very much. <laughs> Boom. Well, who needs a block when you have a dropkick? I think there's food in here? No. I might be confusing it with Turtles in Time. Ow. Okay, break, 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 break. It's fine, because as long as we're not on the same plane, they can't hurt me. I'm gonna quickly go in front of it. Nope, I'm gonna get killed here. I'm gonna get out of its way. I'm gonna get out of its way! Damn it. This is why I need more attack on my side. This is why I farm level 1. This game gets extremely hard if you do not farm. 
But at the same time, I don't think it ever really tells you that you should be doing that. It's something you just have to pick up. Oh, there's, um, Lucas and, what is it, Young Scott? I think is his name. It's not Lucas, um, Wallace. Lucas Lee, that's Lucas Lee. There you go. Go, leave me alone. So, I'm pretty sure this is where I'm going to die. Because he hurty, he hurty big time. And he also gets, like, bonus skateboarder dudes, because that's fair. Ouch. But yeah, this is where I lose. There's just no way in hell for me to be able to beat this. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait. I might actually have a shot now. I'm gonna take care of this asshole first. Because I'm tired of him. There we go. No, get out of my face. Ah, oh, damn it. Stop hitting me with the fucking skateboard. Alright, that guy's dead. He is not dead. How is he not dead? Your other friend died so long ago. There we go. So what move did I actually unlock? Let me see. It's the low attack, okay. And of course he summons more of them. So this might actually be where we call it a fiend. Oh god. Oh, but he's so close to dying! And of course I get hit by the skateboard, god damn it! Oh man, if I can just get to him, it's too late. I was so close, though. I would love to continue, but I'm gonna start right from the beginning. <sighs> I'll pause it. Alright, I'm back. Sorry, oh no, I thought the mouse was on screen. Oh, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't, okay. Alright, for sure this time we'll speed up Lucas Lee. Make sure he doesn't get a skateboard, because that's where things went bad last time. Damn it. Alright, so I'm going to go here. Remember that whole thing about not giving him a skateboard? Well... Ooh! Nice! Now I can throw dudes, good. Get away from me. I can't seem to pick up the skateboard, which is unfortunate. Because he can. Oh, come on. Yeah, a lot of these bosses just take every single beating possible. Way. Now you'd think this would be the point where he would be closest to dying, but he actually he has a lot more of everything. I need to get that stupid skateboard out of his hands before he just completely destroys me with it, because now he's way more powerful. There we go. Get away from him. More dudes show up. Oh, I can pick it up, but I wasn't... God damn it, now he has it. That shouldn't count. Damn this game. I died, also, because that's how hit detection works. Hit him with the- oh, man. Of course. Get away. Not letting him have this. And of course he gets another one. The other guy just shows up off screen. Get out of my fucking face. And this is how he dies in the in the comics as well. Ooh. Did I get that? 
I got a totally useless skateboard, which is nice. And now he does the happy face. Yee! I made $34. <laughs> Alright. God, this game's so. so well told. Ah, <laughs> oh, Kim's defiant face. Steven Stills standing there completely. I love the, the story mode for Steven Stills, by the way, is the fucking funniest one here because he's the most. I get why he's the third main character. I guess why he's one of the four main characters because he's in the band with. Um, Scott, but <laughs> he doesn't really, he's the most like, I just want to be happy. He's the guy, if you remember from the movie, who goes, for the band? And in the comics, he has a little bit more of an expanded role of sorts, but it's not really the same thing. It's really, it's just really funny to me that of all the characters they picked, I would have picked Knives, but they went with him instead, which I think is really funny. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. And of course, Knives was eventually DLC as well as Wallace. So Wallace and Knives I would pick before him. Um, but he would probably be the next after that. Actually, no, I think it would probably be the Scott's, Scott's ex is who I would have picked. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, everyone. See you in the next adventure. Peace out.